Hello Hammy Tubers, I'm Beth and I'm Georgia and welcome to our first ever video. Um, today we'll be showing you what we use for our hamsters and what's in their cage and the next video will probably be how we clean them. So first I'm going to start with um, what's in their cage. That was um, Mist and Whisper, they're our hamsters. If you wonder why we're not in like the shot or anything and it's a bit jolty if we're not allowed to show ourselves. So first we have their like click on water bottle. It's how much? I don't know how much it is because it's upside down. But most, <laughs> they really drink a lot. So. Most of that's kind of leaked. If you're wondering most all of this comes from pets at home. We don't we're not sponsored or anything, it's just a very good place to go. So the next thing we have is their food bowls, which they've had their breakfast. So they normally give them stuff in the morning and then if they have eaten it all after and then at night time we'll just give them like four two teaspoons. So this is what they would normally have. That's the amount that they would normally have in each bowl. But it's meant to be for dwarf hamsters, like a special dwarf hamster mix. But it's, they don't like it too much. And then in the evening we would give them that much. If. But they do leave out like all the pellets and stuff. Oh. So. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, next in the corner we have the sand bar. Which, which has bits. So we need go to go into more detail later. Yeah, they really like that. Basically, it's a deep that's dish. That's a vital thing to have. It's a deep dish that makes sure and then that they can bury down in, in this corner here. If you can see, I'm not getting out. It hates you much mess. Um, it's Same their there. woven straw house thing, which they snuggle. They behind. sleep behind, they sleep behind, behind it. And also, they go in if they want to get away or they don't want anyone like picking them up. And they also, we do have um, a wheel. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> that comes with the cage, but they, they were arching their backs a lot when they were running, so we got them a f silent floor and it spinner, makes quite a lot of noise. which they like. Obviously, the oh, yeah. By the way, this flat, this wire pen is the wire play pen, and it's like coral color. So just in case you want to get it, um, <coughs> sorry, it's a wire play pen suitable for hamsters. You can read eight panels each measuring 33 times 23 centimetres. Perfect for indoor and outdoor use. Easy to assemble, which it is, but they have like little hooks you need to put it in and sometimes that can be a bit tricky. And it folds down easy for storage. And it's in coral. 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 Have I talked about this? No. Yeah, I have. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to do it again, but why not? They um their little exercise balls that I'm always where they go get their feet trapped in. Um, but they don't really use them that much because they always just like fall asleep in them. Yeah. Or they don't really know what to do, so they just sit there. The next thing they really enjoy, apart from treats. Are these like kitchen and they don't? Tubes. We do have like special oh, chews for them, yeah. oh. but they don't really like them. Stop. They don't really like like actual chews. Look, so we've given this to it. them less than a day, and they'd already destroyed it. So it's really good for them, and they also like dig at it. They're so it's going, really good for them. Go in there. They like go inside and dig, and then they sleep in there as well. But it doesn't mean I don't have enough room in there, so I want to get another cage. Okay. Next on to like the toys as well. This one you missed um, out. This is a swing, but it's not very good. It breaks really easily. I don't really recommend it because it doesn't also swing. Like it gets caught on this, but they do like chewing on it. This is the thing we'd use in their playpen. But it's not very... They don't really like... Mm. They don't really pay that much interest to it. And it's quite easy to break. And then the last thing I'm going to be talking about is their cubes. It's just a cube. It has holes in it so that they can climb around. They chew them because it's quite rigid to you in there now. But they've had this since we got we them. We haven't really put this in their cave for a while. Because it takes up a lot of space. A lot of space, like... 
so that's a thing you'd put in their playpen as well. So now, on to... Let me show you some hamster action. Now, this does extend a bit more, it's just that we didn't have enough room. So, George's hamster, Whisper, tends to spit out all her food when she feels safe. So, especially on me. They do like chewing on this. So now onto their treats and the sand and their bedding. And I'll pass it to you. This is their bedding. It's Carefresh Colours bedding. Um, it, all the dyes are used, the natural dyes. We just got blue because it's like the same, the brown one, the natural one. So the same colour to our carpet. So it just blends in. Um, it does. It's very good for Ooh, odors. It's shiny. pet safe. It it's me. super absorbent. Um, it's eco friendly and it lasts for a while. And these are all the animals you can use it for. It's bunnies, guinea pigs, mice, snakes, rats. Oh, hamster, rats, mice, gerbils, ferrets. That's Duwaga. Dugus. Dugus. I have no idea. Is that birds? Yeah, birds. That was that. <laughs> Sorry, it's heavy. This is their chin. No, this is actually chinchilla dust powder. Put it down a bit. I can't see it. Um, but you can also use it for hamsters and it's dusting called, powder. It's a clay rather, rather than sand because it's actually better for them. And you'd probably put about that much in their actual thing. And if you can see, it's very fine. It like sticks to them and like absorbs all their sweaty <laughs> sweatiness. That's um, on the back. On the back it says, um, it just says stuff about how it's good for chinchillas and we went, when we got it, they said, oh yeah, it's perfectly fine for hamsters as well. So, this is their, you need to use this a lot because it's clean and safe um, antibacterial spray for hamsters and like small rodents. Um, it's basically just safe for them because you can't use normal bacterial sprays. If you can't purchase this anywhere, then water is just fine because sometimes oh, you have Johnson's to. By the way. Sometimes you have to just use water because you don't want to spray this too much, otherwise it like gets rid of their scent, and they don't know like it's their house. Um, like when you're cleaning them out, always save a bit of their bedding behind and put it, mix it around in their new bedding so that they know their scent. These are their. This is the last thing we're going to show you. And look, towards the winter time, we'll obviously do things a bit differently, so we'll show you that then. This is their treats. They either have this, massive. which is massive. Like, compared to my fingers, my fingers are quite Which small. is our Friends Farm Harry Hamster Yippies with apple and sweet corn. Now, they don't really have too many treats, and they don't particularly <laughs> like these as much as our Syrian hamster did. But this is all like. But their treats are there. This is all like natural stuff. And we also have these treats, which are. Flavor fruity. Yummy right? fruity shapes. Delicious fruity shapes, ideal treats for, for reward. For rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, gerbils, mice, and rats. And they're in the shape of grapes, oranges, bananas, and, bananas. and oranges. Yeah, they really like these ones. But we can't give them any because we gave them some yesterday. And we found that. They are, I don't know if it's all dwarf hamsters, but especially our ones, they don't really eat, they like, they can't really eat fruit because they're prone to diabetes, but they don't like it when you really give it to them. But the only like vegetable that we've found that they eat is um, broccoli, broccoli, and they do like apple. And then the only fruit they eat is apples, that's all we give but them. But also, with, especially with our hamsters, we found like Russian dwarves, um, they do poo a lot. Can you get them out so they can see? Which is um, a, a disadvantage because you have to do it quite a bit. Mm, one at a time. Okay, so this is mm, Whisper. <laughs> she's my hamster. She's a bit podgy, so we have to do like that's why we do the. the and she's but she did like colour 
she's brown. She did come like this because they didn't do very well um, food control. And this, we don't know if they're sisters, but they were. In, when you buy Russian, when you buy dwarf hamsters, you do have to buy them like from the same cage already. And her feet slip through. Um, <laughs> um and yeah, so these two are already. Yeah. So we don't know if they're sisters or they just come together. At, um, she's grey and she's much thinner. But yeah, you can tell the difference. So that they have definitely mm -hmm. grown a lot. Yeah. Because before they just like they'd fit on that Ling -ling. perfectly. But now you kind of have to. Like that. Right, that's it for this video. Let me get them. I'll just do a pan. If you move out, oh, fine. That's it for this video. Next video will probably be like a time lapse or just a normal video of how we clean them out. Because, like, if you want to see that, then subscribe, leave a comment, and maybe leave a like if you like the video. And that's it for we'll Hammy try and Tube. do one weekly. Bye.